Hello, Dr. Evangelos Milonas here at Kinetic Health. Today we'll be discussing the suprascapular nerve and then going into detail about certain exercises that you can do to help glide that nerve or pull it through. The suprascapular nerve originates in the neck off the C5-6 levels. It courses down and it actually comes underneath one of the muscles here called the supraspinatus. At that point, there's a little hole at the top of the uh, shoulder blade called the suprascapular notch and the roof of that little uh, space is a ligament that, that goes right across it. The nerve goes through that space and then it comes down to the back of the shoulder blade where it supplies another muscle called the infraspinatus. Now the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus are key muscles involved in rotator cuff uh, problems. They're actually two of the four muscles that comprise the rotator cuff. Common uh, ways to injure this nerve are repetitive motions. A lot of athletes with overhead activity, such as tennis players, uh, boxers, volleyball players. Certain occupations uh, work, such as uh, painting, decorators that are constantly putting their hands above their head. Those are really common ways to injure this nerve. One of the other ways to injure it is direct trauma. If you get hit on the back of the shoulder here, uh, sometimes that ligament will compress the nerve, and in some cases you'll actually get a calcification of that ligament. So it's definitely one of the areas that you want to make sure you're addressing with any exercises. If you're having pain in the shoulder, a numbness, a burning sensation, difficulty bringing the arm out to the side, or rotating the arm out and back, those are indications that there may be a compression of that nerve somewhere along its path. Now we're going to get into some exercises, uh, discussing how you can glide that nerve and treat it at, uh, at home, basically, by performing these exercises. Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Abelson from Kinetic Health. I've got the easy job today because I don't have to go through the whole nerve and explain each action of it. We're going to show you a really simple way to basically glide tension or floss this nerve. We're going to get Emmy here to take her head into lateral flexion and we're going to keep it in this position. By doing this, we're tractioning part of the nerve in one direction. Now, as Susie explained to you how the nerve goes through the notch, we want to get some motion of the, of the scapula here or the shoulder blade so it actually rotates and comes up to the side. The easiest way to do that is to bring the arm over, but you want to make sure as you bring it over, you bring it fairly far back and you want to keep the head into the lateral flexion. So we're going to take the arm back and forth here, taking it up, taking it right over. Can you feel that stretch right there on the shoulder there, Amy? Yes. Good. So we're going to bring it right over like this. Great. So we probably do this all five, ten times, somewhere in that vicinity. And you could even do this several times a day. If you get really bored with this, you can always sing I'm a little teapot while you're going through it. <laughs> Just kidding. Excellent. 